Hi, my name is Chris North. I'm the product specialist here at Next Trucking. We're going to dive in and learn more about the Next Trucking app. For the sake of this demo, let's just say that we've already booked a load. Let's take some time to figure out how we go about completing that load. Under my loads, I see all of the jobs that I need to action upon. This includes any jobs that require me to complete my invoice or continue to upload my POD. For this demo, let's go ahead and jump into an actual shipment so we can see how they work. Once I have the job open, I can see all of the load details. I can see exactly where the shipment is going to pick up as well as deliver. I can see all of the appointment times or if there's a flexible time in which I can choose when to deliver the particular load. I can also see again how much I will be making, the commodity, the load value, as well as the equipment type. And again, I'm reminded as well that this is a drayage job requiring me to go into the Port of Los Angeles. When I'm ready to go ahead and start doing this load, I'm gonna come down here and click on, I'm ready to start driving. That's going to initiate our whole tracking process and allow us to monitor where you are throughout the course of the job. Once I click that I'm ready to start, it's gonna bring me over to the Mount tab. This allows me to understand the action that I need to take once I get to the origin location. I can also see here that I'm going to be uh, picking up container DRYU 9701853 at the Matson terminal, and I can see exactly when I need to arrive. For the sake of this demo, let's just go ahead and say that I've arrived at the terminal, I've checked in, and now I'm ready to mount my container. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that the mount is complete, and after the mount is complete, I can go ahead and start this delivery process. Once I get to the destination, I'll go ahead and click on Drop Complete. This allows me to show that the container has been dropped at the destination location before I continue on to upload my proof of delivery document. So let's go ahead and upload the POD for this drop. I'm gonna click on the drop address, and now it's gonna bring me to the live POD camera function. I can either take a photo of the POD, or I can click on select it and grab it out of my photo gallery. Let's go ahead and take a photo of the POD. Once I've taken the photo, I'm gonna have three options. I can retake the photo if it needs to be redone because the photo is too blurry, or I can go ahead and continue adding pages if there's multiple pages to this POD. Once I have the POD ready to go, I'm gonna click on Submit. Once I click on Submit, that POD document will be pushed into the next trucking system and allow us to update the load to show that it's been delivered and bring the driver over to the invoice screen. On the invoice screen, we're going to go ahead and populate the amount that the driver agreed to when they booked the load. We can also add any accessorial fees if there were anything like this that happened throughout the course of the load, including detention, lumper, layover, driver assist, and stop charge. It's easy to add any of these accessorial fees to your invoice by clicking the radio button and following the few steps in order to add each one of those accessorials. Once I've added any accessorials, or if there aren't any additional accessorials to add, I can go ahead and click on Submit Invoice. As simple as that, my invoice will be sent over to Next Trucking for processing. As long as I have booked the load from the app, uploaded my proof of delivery, and uploaded my invoice, all through the Next Trucking app, I am eligible for free quick pay within 24 hours of load delivery. If I haven't done one of those three things, then I can also option into the quick pay ability as well. That's all we have for you today with the Next Trucking demo. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to working with you.